What's up everybody, Bar the Cross 316, making my last haul video of the year. I only have three books to show y'all, so it's going to be a little short video, but I just wanted to show off the books that I got today, um, before the end of the year. Um, I just want to wish everybody a happy new year, hope everybody stays safe. I watched uh, Captain Cummings video, and you need to adhere to his advice. I mean, have fun, but again, stay safe and don't drink and drive. I, I like your advice, Captain Cummings, so good advice there. Um, here we go with Ghost Rider, number seven. And, I mean, this is going to be my earliest Ghost Rider so far that I have found. Now, the, the price says $22, but I got this half off. There we go, good, clear. The camera, sometimes it just gets all fuzzy looking. But I got that for $11, Ghost Rider, number seven. And it looks like it's in pretty good shape. And look at this right here. Spider Woman, number one. Now, it's not the very first appearance of Spider Woman, but it is her first issue in a series. So, I'm glad I got that. The, you know, it says $30 right there, but I got for $15, half off, $15. So yeah, I was I was shocked to find this in the half off box. When I went up to pay for it, the guy ringing it up was like, he was like, "Where did you get this?" I said, "In the half off box," and he was acting like that this book should have been on the wall. So it was his mistake, but my reward. You know that's that's what comes to you know collecting comic books. You go, it's the thrill of the hunt. You're looking through the boxes, you don't know what you will find. And I found this right here, this gem, Spider Woman number one. Awesome. And how about her second appearance? <laughs> you know, I didn't go into the comic book store today to thinking like, hey, I'm going to get some Spider Woman keys, you know. I wasn't thinking that. And that's the coolest thing about collecting comic books. You don't know what you're going to run into. So I got Spider Woman's first issue. And then I got her second appearance in Marvel 2-in-1, issue 30. The only thing is I'm missing her first appearance. But I hope to get that someday. But yeah, yeah, this is a nice issue right here. Issue 30. I had to just be sure I looked this book up on eBay. It is uh, it is the second appearance of Spider-Woman. And this book right here is like a $20 book in good condition. And if you get it graded, I've seen it go up to maybe $100 or so in like a near mint condition, maybe 150 So yeah, I would like to get this graded sometime and see how much it would be worth. That'd be cool. And before I end this video, I've been, I've been working on some artwork. And you know how much I love doing artwork. Well, here we go. And if I could just get this to zoom in real good. I hope it zooms in good. But uh, this is Spider-Man issue 59. And I'm trying to make it into an original art form format. So I've been working on this for the past month. And uh, I think it's turning out pretty good. I'm, you know, first I'm sketching it out. And then I'm going back in pen, black pen and just, you know, inking it making it look like an actual original art. And I know how much Jimmy C loves original art. So, and I love Spider-Man too. I, I think I've told y'all countless times how much I love Spider-Man. So, I thought this scene was just awesome. You know, when Gwen Stacy finally reunites with Peter Parker after he had been through hell with Dr. Octopus, he lost his memory. He finally gained it back. And he runs it to Captain Stacy. And Captain Stacy was hard as heck to draw, too. But, uh, man, that is just an awesome scene. Like, she's hugging Peter Parker. That's, it's awesome. Again, Gwen Stacy is probably my favorite love interest for Peter Parker. So, yeah, I am, uh, slowly working on this. I just need to get to inking it. It's going to be a lot of ink. <laughs> For my pen, it's going to use a lot of my ink on my pen. But I will show the final results of um, this drawing once I get done with it. So tell me what you liked about 
um, this drawing. If you if you really really liked it, just tell me um, what you liked. Um, also tell me about what you think about getting this book. Did I get Spider Woman Spider Woman number one for fifteen dollars? Should I get that for a good price? Is that a good price for this issue? I'd like to know. Well, everybody, I just hope everybody has a, a very great uh, you know New Year's party. And I will see y'all in 2016. God bless.